This is the second part of a three-part series in which the SOLIDWORKS Deform feature will be shown. In this video, the Curve-to-Curve -curve Deform type will be presented. This type of deform is used to deform complex shapes from an initial curve to a target curve. This feature can be found under Insert, Features, and Deform. Under the Property Manager, select the Curve-to-Curve -curve Deform type. Next, select the initial curve and then select the target curve. This target curve can either be edges of existing features or sketch entities. Multiple sets of curves can be added to control the overall deformation. This can be done by clicking the plus sign and then selecting another set of curves. The errors are used to cycle through the different curve sets. The Show Preview box displays the deformation as a shaded view if checked and outlined if not. Under the Deform Region heading, if the Fixed Edges option is unselected, only bodies can be selected for deformation. If it is selected, options will appear that allow faces to be fixed or selected for deformation. The Option Uniform can be selected to maintain characteristics of the original shape. Under the shape options, the stiffness of the deformation can be changed. These options change how rigid the deformation is on the shape. The accuracy of the shape can also be adjusted by moving the slider bar. This is useful to increase when there are high areas of curvature or if the deformation is not able to be created. If fixed edges is checked and uniform is not checked, then there will be an option to adjust the weight of influence between the fixed edges and the deformed curves. By adjusting the slider towards the moving side, more of the deformation is influenced by the deformed curves. If adjusted in the other direction, the deformation is influenced more by the fixed geometry. If maintained boundary is unselected, then the deform is not necessarily restrained by the fixed features. If it is unselected, an option to deform only the additional faces selected is available. Under Match, there are options allowing you to match the deformed surfaces to the target surface edges. The first option, None, applies no matching conditions. Surface Tangent matches tangent edges and surfaces using a smooth transition. The surface tangent can also be reversed if necessary. The option Curve Direction matches the target curve by using the normals of the target curve to deform the object. In the final video for this feature, the Surface Push Deform type will be shown.